Hey guys, so <clears throat> I got another commission uh, that's finally done in a state that I'm 99% satisfied with. Um, there's a couple of things that I wish I could have done, but uh, I don't have the parts and I don't want to keep this here any longer than absolutely necessary. So it's it's done, it works, and if the customer is not satisfied, you know, um, uh, I hope he lets me know what's wrong with it so that we can try to fix it. I've got another alternative setup for this lightsaber that would only cost another $90 and then we can um, redo it in that fashion and maybe that would be a little better. But uh, I'll talk with him about that privately. So this is a, what was it? A, a Zenitsu lightsaber from, I forget what company. Um, but it's a, it's a discontinued hilt. You can't find this anymore. So, um, yeah, uh, I, <clears throat> I talked with my chassis maker, um, Stardust Inspirante, about a fully removable chassis because that is something that I really enjoy. And the, the only other way I could see us pulling this off is with one of those um, chassis that slide out of the pommel, but those are... Um, tricky to make and sometimes the wires snap at odd points if you don't do it perfectly so um, yeah but we're gonna get right into it uh, I'll showcase the what was it 12 sound fonts that he uh, he wanted me to put on here um, and showcase how the lightsaber functions properly so that you know you don't have to message me asking how do I do this how do I do that so first up um, is the uh, Wanderer. What do we do? So this is from one of those Star Wars Visions uh, clips that I have yet to see. And um, yeah, he wanted this one red. So. You've got Blaster Deflection. I don't know if it's going to come up on camera very well. But it comes up, like, just from eyesight very well. So, because he uh, he picked the Crystal Focus version 10, CFX, it's got smooth swing. There's a lockup, flash stuff, blaster deflection, all that good stuff. Um, as discussed earlier, it's probably cheaper for you to just find a Neo Pixel Blade somewhere else. Um, for me to make it would cost a little extra to get the necessary components. So uh, we're currently using my lightsaber's Neo Pixel Blade, just a demo. And uh, so in order to switch. Um, can't find my words today. Okay, so to check the battery level, all you gotta do is tap tap the auxiliary button, and that's the one closer to the pommel. So just tap that, and it'll give you where the battery's at. To switch sound fonts, you press and hold the auxiliary button until you hear a beep, and then you press it. Sound bank selection. Justice of the Wanderer. So there's that. Next font. Cloud. And uh, he said he wanted this one in white. So for this, I did something a little special because white flash on clash with a white blade doesn't really come up very clearly. So for blaster deflection, I had blue. Kind of like a cyan blue. And uh, for lock up and flash on clash, I had it yellow. If you want it changed uh, to be something else, I can do that with very little effort. So, again, smooth thing. Next up.
said he wanted this one in pink, so I picked pink. Um, and this is actually a good opportunity to showcase the next feature. If you press and hold, sorry, if you, if you press both buttons at the same time, you get the spectrum feature, and then you can rotate it like a, a um, where are my words? A motorcycle handle, and uh, we start with white. So it'll go red, then blood orange, then yellow, sorry, then orange, then yellow, then lime green, then green, then teal, then sky blue, cyan, and then, or cyan, then sky blue, and then royal blue, then we get a purple, and then a pink, and then we get, and then we get white. So, let's go back to pink, and then you just tap either button. I'm sorry if this doesn't come up very well on camera. Camera always doesn't doesn't really ever do it justice, but if we put it really close, you should be able to. Yeah, that's the color. So. Okay. Sound bank selection. Darth Malak. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. So this is Darth Malak, uh, metallic jaw from uh, the Old Republic uh, style of fonts from Kyberphonic. Pikachu uh, electric mouse sound font, I think also by Kyberphonic. That was an entertaining sound fun. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Sound bank selection. And then you wanted this one, uh, Sukino, I believe. I forget who by, but uh, you also wanted this one pink. one is Seath, one of the grayscale fonts you asked for. you wanted this one but I remember picking it. yeah you wanted teal so if this isn't quite teal to you uh, let me know and I will change it accordingly before shipping yeah kind of the, the color you see around the edges is what I'm seeing yeah something like that I think this one's called Paradise, but I could be mistaken. And I think you said you wanted this one blood orange. Sound 
Power Bank Selection. Now this one's Paradise. What was the other one? I'll leave a list in the description for exactly what you asked for. And this one's Lime Green. This is another amusing one I uh, I was looking forward to. F1 by Kyberphonic, I believe. Michirin. Big fan of Demon Slayer, so um, I added some additional files, uh, but you're not going to see them displayed here. Uh, if you want, uh, you can you can pop out the SD card, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, pop them in. Uh, look for extras, uh, the the folder inside the Nichirin font. Find extras, and then below, uh, inside the extras folder, you'll see Jedi Guy Editions as its own folder, and there will be a whole bunch of surprise files in case you want to add them. So we have here a water um, style. It also has a Hino Kamikaga uh, version, where the, the background is more fiery instead of flowing water. But you said you wanted water with... Uh, I think it was sky blue you said you wanted, so that's what you got. And then we're back to the original sound phone. So. so right here we have the, uh, the two switches, auxiliary and the main switch. And uh, right over here, if you... Okay, so to get the chassis out, first you need to remove the blade. Um, and speaking of, I figured out what that damn problem was, uh, where I put the blade in and then all of a sudden everything was reset and turned off. Um, the retention screw that was holding the chassis in place was actually pushing it to one side, so the pins were, like, pushed to one side on the pad so they weren't connecting correctly. I solved the problem by drilling a hole through the chassis itself, so the, the retention screw that holds it in place actually goes through it instead of pushing up against it. Um... So, but beyond that, there were no additional measures that were needed. Everything works just fine now. So, um, so to find the retention screw, you find uh, the two holes and follow this line back. It should just be behind there. Uh, Lefty Lucy until you feel uh, the chassis sliding on the inside. Slide it out completely empty. And here is your internal chassis with a um, key power 18650 lithium ion battery, 3000 milliamps. Uh, you can get a better battery so, uh, somewhere else if you need additional batteries. Um, depending on the color you pick, this lightsaber will, uh, the battery will last anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour. Um, 
so yeah, I recommend getting some additional batteries. I'll send you links to a whole bunch of different places you can get them, but really any 3.7 volt 18650 lithium ion battery with 3.7, sorry, with 15 amps, uh, sorry, 15 amp drainage will, will work just fine for NeoPixel. So we have the two uh, tactile switches, main and auxiliary. You got your Crystal Focus version 10. Uh, I wanted to surprise you with uh, some um, accent LEDs, but I did not have the resistors for the back. They turned on just fine, but once I found out I needed the resistors, I thought I'd, I wouldn't risk it on the off chance that something melts or blows up. So right over here, you have your NeoPixel. Uh, the center pin is uh, uh, the data line. Then the inner ring is for negative and the outer ring is for positive. Uh, beyond that, we have a 24 millimeter uh, stealth speaker from Saber Essentials and a 3D printed um, fully removable chassis by uh, Stardust and Sperante. Once again, amazing work. And um, yeah, in order to get the SD card out, um, first you want to pop the battery out. And you should be able to grab it from just this, this gap here. Um, and using a pair of tweezers right here, all you got to do is pop it and then take it out, do what you want with it, put it back in, and then click it back into place. Take this, make sure the button end is facing up. What do we do? And that LED was there when I, when I received the soundboard. So main switch. Turns it on. Sometimes you gotta really push it. Auxiliary. Smallest speaker I've ever worked with, and yet can still deafen me. Uh, if you need to get access to the uh, the micro USB port, I'm gonna send you a link where you can grab one of these. Um, it's just a little adapter because uh, these cables can't really fit in there and I've um, glued the uh, Crystal Focus X in place so that it doesn't jiggle around touch the uh, the inside of the aluminum hilt and short circuit something so I'll send you a link to one of these where you just it's it's literally just an adapter where you connect it and now it makes an L connection where just like that so Handy little tool, I'll send you a link for one. Micro SD card, all you need is uh, an SD card uh, adapter and maybe a card reader if your laptop or desktop doesn't have an SD, a dedicated SD card reader. And that really should be it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration video. If you want something changed on the settings or the the, the fonts, the order, the colors or, or something, if you want it, any changes, let me know ahead of time uh, before I ship this out, and I'll see what I can do. And, yeah. So, <clears throat> right. Before I sign off, what you want to do is to put the chassis back inside. Slide it in through the front. Push on the top here, not on the pins over here. Oh, another thing. Don't start poking around the pins, and don't poke the speaker. Common sense things, but we we live in a dumb world. So push uh, the top with your finger as far as it'll go. Slide it until the switches line up correctly. And it'll slide if, if you teeter it, so be careful. And then using uh, an 832 retention uh, wrench, just screw it in place until it's just a little bit inside the uh, um, shark skin, the, the replica shark skin, and then just slide it over top like it's not even there. Slide the blade over top, tighten the retention screw on top, and you have a fully functional lightsaber. Only issue you might face is uh, that the, in order to get the fully removable chassis to work properly, 
the tactile switches had to be fairly uh, short. So you actually got to put your finger really in there in order to push it. Some solutions might be just uh, when the chassis is inside, put some cardboard or something on top. So that allows you to push it a little easier. Or if you really don't like this setup, just let me know and we can try a different setup that has the anti-vandal switches and the chassis that will hold. Um, oh, right, no, because there's not enough room for the battery and the soundboard to be on one end. Right, so we'll, we'll try and figure something out if you really don't like this setup, but uh, I've got fairly big hands and I can, I can get it to work. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy your lightsaber. Uh, once again, if there are any issues you found within this video, let me know uh, through any of the ways you've contacted me, and I'll get it fixed before I ship it out. Um, yeah, so... Hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope Espred enjoys his new uh, NeoPixel Smooth Swing enabled lightsaber. And um, yeah, may the force be with you all. Peace.